Hi guys. So, today's video, we are gonna be transforming the art in my house. Desenio, I know it's upside down, but you get the gist. Desenio have kindly sent over some prints. This is not sponsored, but they have kindly sent over some prints and frames as like a gifted thing. And I will be telling you what I think and showing you this transformation. So make sure you stick around until the end to find out how you can get 30% off your Desenio order. Okay, back to the video. First of all, let me show you what I'm working with. Come on. By the way, do you like my eye makeup? I'm just experimenting today, having a bit of a pandemic breakdown. Um, I love art. I recently wrote a blog post about how much I love art, like wall art, to brighten up a space. As you can see, all the walls in my house are white. And so any kind of art just like brightens up the space and makes me feel happy. So this is currently my gallery wall. And this is also the before shot. So let me get out of it. cinematographer so right now I would describe this wall as a bit basic at the moment we've got art pieces from Poundland frames from Poundland we have some prints that came in a pack of three from Ikea it's not the best and um, we've got some GCSE art from me there I got an A I got an A so you know I thought it was wall worthy but I think I'm over it now and um, we've got some old wrapping paper some spare wrapping paper that I just shoved in a frame and then we have this line drawing that I ripped off of Desenio about four years ago which is ironic because now I'm working with them I drew that myself um, and then we have some like discarded frames this is like a, a frame that kind of broke and I'm scared to put it back on the wall but that's got actually a really nice bit of wrapping paper in from Oliver Bona which is obviously quite fancy and it's just lots of naked ladies enjoying life. We've also got this, which I'm scared to pick up because it is vintage and it's real glass and I found it on the street, but that glass has cut me before. It cut me um, quite badly actually because it's vintage and not safe, just like most things were not safe in the olden days. Asbestos. What I'm proposing is replacing all the art in these frames. Yeah, I am still in my pajama bottoms. What are you gonna do about it? So let's unbox these prints so I can show you exactly what I picked up. I'm not gonna lie, I've already opened some of these. I was I was too intrigued. I got them about two weeks ago and I couldn't wait. So this is like the big thing the prints come in. It's like you're opening the door to your new prints. Kind of fun. So I've got a few big ones that I knew would fit inside. This is actually, actually a great hack. This is a great hack. So hack, if you have these like Ikea frame measurements and you wanna kind of save a bit of money on buying frames and just go over the like, Ikea, Ikea route, um, quite a few Desenio prints fit in Ikea frames. And I'm gonna show you that today. So that's a life hack for you guys, you're welcome. This is the first one I got. And this is the size of the frame that's usually up on that wall with the Ikea frame. And I just thought it was really cool. I'm not gonna explain why I got these prints. I think you can tell why I got these prints. Um, they're all just really cool. So that's the first one. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> By the way, I'm gonna put on screen now a mock-up of what I, what I did. This wasn't an easy process. I'm the most indecisive person. And so I, had to create like a fake photoshoppy kind of mock-up of all the different prints that I thought I'd want, especially for a gallery wall. You wanna plan these things out. Um, I didn't plan necessarily like too much based on size, but in terms of like the colors and what would look good together, I really needed to see like the vibe of what I was going for before making a commitment to purchasing. So made a, a document on Canva, which I'll show you on the screen. And as you can see, it's got like all the different prints that I chose and like how I would arrange them. And if I would go with a black frame or a, a gold frame or whatever, and just based on thing, frames I already had and making sure that I'm getting the right sizes that match the frames I already have, or if I don't have them, what I'm gonna buy from Desenio and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I just thought I would show you like my little like, planning, pre-planning. There was a lot of thought that went into this, all right? This is the second one I got. And this is like, this was inspired by Matisse. I know I said I wouldn't explain, but here I am explaining. Um, this is like, an, it was kind of inspired by a Matisse print. And I love Matisse. Um, and I'm thinking of putting this either in the white frame or in a wooden frame, which I actually got from Desenio. A couple more big ones. We have this one, 
which I love so much. And I got a black frame for this one. I really love this one. I love line drawings. I get a lot of line drawings. I've seen this one quite a few times on like bloggers pages. I feel like this is a popular print. I got it in the big size. It comes in smaller sizes as well. I think it comes in a bigger size actually as well, which is quite big already. And lastly in the big size, I've got this one. Again, I don't really know why I liked this one. I was just very attracted to it. And then for smaller ones, as you saw on like that document, I've got this one, do it for you. Love that, great quote. I got this fun apple spritz. I thought it was a cool illustration. I really liked, I really liked that illustration. It's got nice colors in it. I got this one, the best is yet to come. I thought that was nice. I got this nice landscape one of a lady, a lady's body. Um, I got this one and this is another line drawing with a bit of pink and then it's got its own border. I got this little diddy one, it's like a little rainbow. I got another line drawing of course. I got this cool one of leopards. I thought that was cool. I like the colours, the, the yellow and the pink. And then I got another Matisse inspired, this time a little bit smaller. What do you guys think of my selection? Let me know down below. Um, so yeah, that's everything. So let's start maybe assembling. Assembling. I'm going to actually know, let's take down the current gallery wall. Take down the current gallery wall and put the prints in and then or we'll, like put that up and then like put the big prints in and well, it's gonna be fun okay <laughs> of this video i hope you guys enjoyed watching me frame up all these prints listening to a podcast and i think we're going to speed this bit up um yeah let's see how this all pans out <laughs> oh also i'm using these that i got from poundland and that's exactly what was used to hold up the prints before so i'm going to use them again because they seem to be all right <laughs> I just wanted to show you how I'm sticking them up. So I'm getting these command strips that I got from Poundland. They get, I think you get five in a pack. And then I'm cutting them into strips that are thinner. And this is how they're fitting on the decennial print. And I've got three along the top, three along the bottom, and two on the sides. I'm really hoping that that is enough. Without you by my side, imagine I walk through your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Cause you, you really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. Lonely, you're the reason why I can feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Back. Uh, uh, that glass has cut, cut before. It... I'm bleeding through this makeshift 
bandage that I've fashioned. Anyway, what do you think? so much for watching if you did get this far please make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below for more videos from me and i'll see you in my next video bye